Hi everyone, it's Jen here from Colab and today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide um, on how to find and create your own Google Form. So something that's really great about Google Forms is that you can use it to make different things. So you can use it to make customer surveys, job applications, quizzes, order forms, as well as using it to collect contact information and kind of integrate that into a Google Sheet, which is really handy as well. So to start off, you're going to be already logged into your Google account and you're going to come up to the top right hand corner and click on the little waffle. You're then going to look for forms, click on forms and as you can see, it's saying no forms yet. And that's just because you haven't made a form yet. So to make your new form, you're going to come up here and you're going to click on blank. Just to point out, if you did want to make a blank quiz, then you would just click on here and that would enable you to make a blank quiz. But for today, we're going to click blank and here we are. So we've got our Google form here. The first thing that we want to think about is titling this form. So I'm going to title it um, employee survey. And if you want, you can add a form description as well. So you could say this is a survey for all employees. also come up here to the left hand corner and just click here and as you can see it automatically just put the title up there as well so first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make a multiple choice question so as you can see we've already got a question set up here so we're just gonna click on that and it's already set up as multiple choice which is great because that's what we're gonna do um, but if you clicked on that arrow, you could change it to whatever it was. So you could add a short answer, a paragraph, check boxes, whatever it is that you might need. So I'm going to type in a question. So the first question might be, um, are you enjoying your new job? Great. So as you can see, it's come up with suggested answers. So you could click that and it would automatically in yes or you can add a different option as well so you could say kind of and you could say no and there we go so we've got three different um, options there for them to um, click on so another thing I want to show you here is if you wanted to just clone that question you could click on this part here which is duplicate so you click duplicate and as you can see, it's just added in another multiple choice question with the same answers that you can choose from. And it has copied the same question, but if you wanted to, you could just change that to something different in there. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can add a long or a short answer. So to add another question without duplicating it, you would come to this plus sign and you click add question. So this time I'm going to say, what's been your favorite part of the week so far and then I'm going to change it from multiple choice and I'm going to put this one as a paragraph just so that it means that um, the employee can write as much or as little as they want to in this section so they would just click here and they would fill in that section there as well if you wanted to, you can also add videos and you can add images. So if you wanted to add a video, you would come here, you click add video and you could just search for it in here and it would come up with the different options for a video. Or if you knew the specific URL, you could just put, pop that in there. But for now, I'm just going to add an image. So to add an image, you're going to click here. And you can add an image in many different ways. So you can do it by uploading it, taking a picture on your camera, URL, photos, Google Drive, or you can actually search for an image on Google Image Search. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to put question mark. There we go. And wow, there's many question marks to pick from. So I'm just going to pick this first one for now and then I'm going to click insert. So it will probably come in pretty big, yep it has, so it's a pretty big picture there. So what you can actually do is you can resize it. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. 
there we go so that looks much better before the image was pretty big there so it's really cool that you can um, have the option to resize your images as well um, next up I'm going to show you how you could add a section so if you wanted to add another section to your form you would just come here click add section and maybe this section would be based on maybe the employee's goals so that would make a different section and under that you would just go and you would keep adding on different questions so again you could have multiple choice you could have short answer paragraph check boxes whatever it is that you might need in there next up i'm going to show you how you can change the theme of your form so right now it's i mean it's purple but it's kind of a little bit bland so to change the theme you would come up here and you would click customize theme if you wanted to, you could completely change it and you could add in another image into the header. So you click on choose an image and as you can see, we've got lots of different ones here. You could also click here and it's going to show you many different kind of illustrations that you could add. Um, so I'm going to add, let's pretend they've just started a new job as a school teacher. So I'm going to add that in and I'm going to click insert. There we go. Perfect, and as you can see, it's also changed the theme colour, which is great. So I haven't even had to go and search for colours that suited that image. It's done it for me, which is amazing. Um, if you didn't like that colour, you could change it to here. You could change it to kind of greeny colour. But I actually like that colour, so I'm going to keep it there. Another option you have is to change the background colour. So if you wanted it white, put it there. Pink, whatever one you think you like best. And then you've also got that option down the bottom as well to change the font style. So you've got a couple of different font styles. So I'm going to click on formal. Perfect. So there we go. We've kind of changed up and customised the theme, which is great. I think it looks much nicer now. Um, another thing I'm going to show you is how to preview your form. So to preview it, you'll come up here and you'll click on preview. And this is going to show you how it will look to the employee that you're going to send it to. So your employee would come onto the form, they would start filling it out, and they would type in their answer there, and then they would click next. To get back to the editing side of the form, you would just come down here and click edit this form. Leave. There we go. Um, another option, I know I spoke about it at the start and I said if you wanted to make a quiz then you would just click on blank quiz. But if you forgot to do that, you could also come up to the settings here, you could click quizzes and you would just click make this a quiz. And that would just give you different options to add in the answer to the quiz and to decide how many marks that person would get if they answered it correctly or incorrectly. Um, but for now, I am just going to leave it as a form. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can add collaborators to the form. So if you wanted to make this form with someone else, so say I was making a form for Connect to Progress and I was going to make it with Anya, then I would come up here and I would add collaborators. And I would type in, oh, there we go, look at that. I would click on Anya. And then I could write a little message if I wanted to as well. I could say, this is our um, employee survey for Connect to Progress. Um, please check it out. And then I would send that to her and she would get a direct email informing her that the form has been made and that she can start um, collaborating on it with me. And as you can see, it's already got editor, which means that she's free to edit it and add anything or change anything that she might want to. Another thing I'll show you quickly is how to send it so if you wanted to send it to say a group of your employees you would click on send and you would pop their email addresses in there and you could type in i've invited you to fill in a form and you could say employee survey and then you would then send it there as well as you can see it's sending with a link as well for them to click on um and there we go so you would send that but i'm not going to send that right now but you would do if you wanted to send it out to a group of people Lastly, I am going to show you how you can check out your responses of your form. So you'd come up here and you would click on responses. And as you can see, we've not got anyone that's filled in this form because I've just made it right now. But if people filled it in, you would see their responses here and you would see it in kind of like a pie chart form, which is great. Um, it's quite visual, which is always a nice thing to see. 
Um, if you wanted another option, you could actually collect all of the responses into a Google Sheet. So if you wanted to do that, you would click on Create Spreadsheet and you would most likely create a new spreadsheet. But if you did have one that was already exi existing, then you would click here. But for now, I think most people would probably create a new spreadsheet. You would then click Create. And here we go, it's taking me to the new spreadsheet. And whenever people do fill in the form, then all of their responses will just come up underneath here. So that's pretty much everything that I've got to show you today with Google Forms. Um, it was a pretty quick introduction to Google Forms, but I really hope that it was helpful for you all.